Good morning. Uh, looking at what to say in this video, I had a great time this morning. First, I was watching this video from a Canadian guy. Great man. He's apologizing to you, to all of us, to us. <laughs> he says, it takes a big man to say, you know, I screwed up. He says, I'm sorry. I didn't listen to you sooner. So he bought the narrative in the beginning. Then he changed his mind. He found out some stuff. And now he's presenting this fantastic apology. I'll post a link to it. It's a short one. It's very good. Now, of course, I accept the apology. He's really apologizing to you Canadians. And then I was watching Ron DeSantis. <laughs> he did a speech two days ago. What a great speech. And I'll post a link to that one too. I'll just tell you a few things that he said. Uh, just because the media and the elites are saying to do something, that doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. We rejected the elites and we were right. They are now trying to rewrite history, acting like they wanted kids in school all along. Not only were they wrong about schools, they were wrong about lockdowns. They were wrong about these models. They were wrong about forced masking. They were wrong when they rejected the existence of natural immunity. They were wrong about the efficiency of the tea. <laughs> and then he's talking about courage. You have to stand up. You will be attacked, that's what he's talking about. Just watch the thing. Well, if you want, but it's very good. So please make him your president in the United States, please. I've been watching this guy and there are no alarm bells going off. I just like him. That's right. So please make him your president. You no, know, he proven himself, didn't he? He stood up and people are moving to Florida, right? Lots of people from California moving to Florida to freedom. And New York and New Jersey, they moved to Florida. He's talking about this too. And I was thinking about apologizing. I'm talking to you now, you who attacked me over these years. And you said that I was a conspiracy theorist and you called others conspiracy theorists. It's time to apologize. It may be too late. You need to do it now. What happens when the truth comes out? Doesn't look that good then, does it? If you apologize too late, you need to do it now. I mean, what have you been doing? You know what I've been doing? I've been fighting for you. That's right. I've been fighting for your kids and your grandchildren, for their freedom. And what did you do during these two years? You've been hiding, haven't you? In this flock of sheep, trying to look good, being an obedient citizen. It's pathetic. You did nothing. You just helped them to remove your freedom. That's what you did. So now is the time to, to apologize. You pathetic wimp. And it's for you, really. You know, I've been attacked because of what I've been saying for standing up. But I really don't care about this, personally. You know, I was right. It's different if I was wrong. I would be embarrassed about it, but I was right. So I don't really care about this, but it's for you. You need to apologize now. Or well, it will be quite awkward later. Now, I, I have the time to tell you this story. I saved this story. And it's about this. Okay, so I will tell you about my favorite painter here in Sweden of all time. His name is Isak Grünewald. 
is an expressionist painter. And he was active in the 30s and the 40s here in Sweden. He's a Jew. He was a Jew. Imagine this, active in the 30s and the 40s. And he got some very serious problems because of this. Now, his work got very admired and he became a professor at the Art Academy here in Stockholm. But then we saw, well, I wasn't there, but the, the bureaucrats, the priests, the teachers, the doctors, the politicians, many of them became Nazi sympathizers. And they started to attack this guy, also media. So I can just imagine what it was like for him. And they called him a greedy businessman. He was charging a lot for his paintings because they were popular and they were good. And they said, he's not really an artist. He's a greedy businessman. That's what they said in the media about him. And then he was forced to resign his professor status at this uh, art school, art academy. They say now he resigned voluntarily, but I'm sure he didn't. It was terrible for him, I know this. And then he died in 1946. He resigned in 1942. And then what happened? Well, the war ended and the truth about Hitler and what the, about the Nazis came out and all these Nazi sympathizers, they crawled back into the walls and it was not a good time to apologize. <laughs> and they never did, of course. It was too late, of course. You can't apologize for something like this. So that's why I'm saying it's time to apologize. Just do it. All right. Be good.